Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Today I'm going to be talking about Living in the Material World by George Harrison. Can we just talk about how amazing this is? I love this. It's based, this is his handprint. And it's just like, number one, he has got very big hands. They probably enlarged them, or I have very small hands. But it's great because it's almost just like you're holding his hand and it's like, let's go on this amazing musical spiritual journey together. And his handprint is also on the back. This is the 2017 reissue and I'm in love. I was hesitant to get this album at first because um, I had two singles, so four songs from the album. I had Give Me Love, which has Miss Odell on the B-side and Bangladesh, which has Deep Blue on the B-side. So I had four singles and I thought, well, I've kind of got quite a few of the songs. Do I even bother getting the entire album? But then I realised that Miss Odell, Bangladesh and Deep Blue are not on the vinyl versions of the album. So that made me think maybe I should get it. And then when I started listening to the album more, I fell in love with the title track. Um, and other songs intrigued me. And after a few months of debating about it, I thought, you know what, let's just get it because enough is enough. I need this album. And I listened to it the other day and oh my God, what an experience. Whilst All Things Must Pass is more of George's back catalogue of like the past five or six years of songs that he wrote whilst he was still in the Beatles and he just wanted to get all of them out there. This is definitely more of a different George. This isn't Beatle George. This is a George who is fully trying to follow the teachings of um, Hinduism and trying to work out his spirituality, trying to have a different persona than his Beatle George counterpart, um, trying to not live in the material world, trying to focus on things that he believes is more important than material items. And it's definitely more of a, I, I say downbeat, but I'm not, it's definitely not as upbeat and poppy. It's slower, it's more reflective, it's relaxing. Um, and I think you have to be in the right mood if, um, for me, I have to be in the right mood to listen to this album. This is an album I want to listen to when I'm relaxed, when I want to feel reflective, when I want to listen to something deep and not so much something upbeat and wild, you know. Um, and this, I believe George wasn't going through the best time during this album. He was going through lawsuits with the Beatles, he was dealing with copyright stuff with My Sweet Lord, I, I bet. His mum was dying, his marriage with Patty was falling apart. So, I mean, props to making such a, an amazing album throughout this difficult time, George, because this is a fantastic album. I love it. Um, like, Give Me Love is an amazing song. I love Give Me Love. <laughs> but it sounds so familiar and I don't know where I would have heard it from unless I heard it on the radio because my parents don't really listen to George Harrison I can't find anywhere where it might have been played in a film or on a TV show I can't seem to find any information about that but I feel like I've listened to it before um, the song Sue Me, Sue You Blues is um, quite a good song it's growing on me I, I really like how it sounds <laughs> Thank you. 
The Light That Has Lighted The World is a song I've listened to for quite a while now. I've been, like, seeing how I feel about it. It's, it's a sad song. It's talking about how he's not the same person, so don't think I'm the same person, because I'm not. I've changed. Why can't you accept it? And I feel like a lot of people can relate to that song, because you don't stay the same person in your life. You adapt you change it's impossible to stay the same way otherwise you're not really living are you you're not changing and growing um don't uh, don't let me wait too long i love the guitar in it it's just great like a lot of these songs are a bit new to me because i might have listened to them before but sometimes i have trouble remembering songs because George Harrison and the Beatles and everyone have a lot of songs sometimes i forget every single one Sort of yeah living in the material world is amazing my favorite favorite part is the indian section it like the lyrics are amazing i love the percussion in it i love his falsetto in it i just love every single thing i wish it was longer almost i just oh i love it so much it's my favorite part it's my favorite thing in this whole album the title track was a main reason why i needed this album who can see it like he has an he has amazing vocals and who can see it it it's just oh it's a sad song but he just does it so well um the lord loves the one that loves the lord is very cool it's a good song be here now wow now that was an experience the first time i listened to it i was just sitting by my bed it was kind of like evening or like the sun was starting to set and oh such a relaxing almost spiritual experience it just felt so beautiful it's just like what a beautiful moment Try some, buy some is a great song. Uh, the day the world gets round, I'm not gonna lie, I have forgotten how that sounds like because I listened to this album last week and I don't have the best memory in remembering how every single song sounds. And But that is all, oh. Again, the vocals are just amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it. And the actual record played amazingly. Like they did such a good job on the 2017 free issues. They are fantastic. They are amazing. They have been done with so much care. And I feel like I'm almost too scared to play the 2017 issues of like All Things Must Pass and Living in the Material World because I just don't want them to get hurt. <laughs> They're like my children, I have to protect them. Absolutely love the artwork. It's gorgeous. It's reflecting on this Hinduism and its spirituality. And the lyrics right here, I really enjoyed reading them when I was listening to the record. And yeah, it's just just fantastic. Underrated as well. Um, I love that on the back cover, it says, Jim Keltner Fan Club, for all information, send a stamped undressed elephant to 5112 Hollywood Boulevard, Hollywood, California. And I watched the documentary, Living in a Material World. I love that documentary. I've watched it two and a half times. It makes me cry, but I love it so much. But I remember watching the documentary. I think Jim Keltner said that. He just put it on there. And then he started getting, like, letters and stuff. And he was just like, 
George, I don't know why you've done this, this is so random, but that's the best thing about George, he just does random things and he's unpredictable and he's just an amazing person. And also at the bottom of the credits you have all glories to Krishna. I just think it's awesome, just what an amazing album, I love it so much. That is all, <laughs> um, but just wanted to show you my newest purchase and how I'm really happy with it and how I'm going to listen to it again as soon as I can and I really recommend it if you have not listened to it. Anyway, bye guys!